Did you know that all the coal in the world was created in a short relative time? What is your opinion on this? Now, the common narrative suggests that the abundant coal deposits from the Carboniferous period were the result of large tree-like plants flourishing before fungi evolved the ability to break down lignin. The absence of these fungi, so the story goes, led to a build-up of undecayed plant matter which over time transformed into coal. But a recent study led by Stanford's Matthew Nelson challenges this belief. Matthew Nelson and his team at Stanford University have presented a fascinating new perspective on coal formation. This team of researchers challenges the long-held belief that the boom of coal during the Carboniferous period was due to a simple case of plants evolving before fungi could decompose them. Instead, they propose an intriguing narrative, one where coal deposits were not exclusive to this period, but rather the Carboniferous era saw the most significant deposits. Nelson's study puts forth the idea that the formation of coal during this period was not merely due to the absence of lignin-eating fungi, but a twist of tectonics and climate. The researchers proposed that the Carboniferous era, known for its hot, wet climate conditions and mountain-building activities, provided the perfect conditions for the formation of coal. The abundance of peat deeply buried in swampy environments was a direct result of these tectonic and climatic conditions. This peat, over time and under immense pressure, transformed into the coal we have today. It was not so much about the plants and fungi, but rather the planet's physical conditions that led to the vast coal reserves we see. This perspective offers a fresh lens to view the Carboniferous era and the formation of coal in general. So, it turns out that the evolution of plant and fungal community composition does not directly explain the abundance of Carboniferous coal. To summarize, Nelson's study challenges the widely accepted theory about coal formation. Previously, many believed that the vast coal deposits during the Carboniferous period were a result of the evolution of large tree-like plants before fungi learned to break down lignin. However, Nelson and his team argue that this is not the case. Coal deposits, they say, did form before and after the Carboniferous, but it was during this period that the most significant deposits were made. Their research points to a combination of tectonic and climate conditions as the main contributing factors. The mountain building activities coupled with hot, wet climate conditions led to the abundance of deeply buried peat in swampy environments. This in turn contributed to the formation of coal. The presence or absence of lignin-eating fungi, thus, does not directly explain the abundance of Carboniferous coal. It's fascinating how our understanding of the world continues to evolve with new research. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing science content. What are your thoughts on this new perspective of coal formation? Feel free to share in the comments below.